everyone, we have an unboxing, untubing, unbagging, whatever you want to call it. Hello. Amber's here. This, oh, Go ahead. it's craftably, see, craftably it says so right there and right there. Oh. Yeah. It's nice hard plastic tubes, they come in, this is the way they came shipped in the box. They came both wrapped in plastic, is yeah. what I was going to say. Amber already opened hers. I had, I had, <laughs> I had the peak. <laughs> Uh, which one do you want to unwrap first? Um, you know what? Let's do the the one that's fresh out, so that way people can see exactly what they get inside the bag. The one that I open. got for you. Yes, the one that you got for me. So they come in a nice little cellophane. cellophane bag with a little tie wrap on the end there. So we undo the tie wrap. Crinkly, crinkly. Yes, lots of crinkly here. And untwist the top. Slide it out of the cellophane, and you have this nice tube with a strap on it, so you can throw it over your shoulder, take it with you, wherever you go, you can store your diamond paintings in it, even if you don't store this one in it, you can always take your diamond paintings on the go. This one is Awakening at Dawn by Mark Dalen. What I like about it though, is this tube, it has several different sizes, on this side there's perforated marks all the way down the tube. Yeah. And you can open it from here, which is nice. But anyways, okay. Yep. About, what about it? So it's w Awakening at Dawn by Mark Dalen. Comes with a nice sturdy tag there with the picture on it. It's a nice cardboard tag. It's movable too. Yes, you can. I moved mine. Yeah, you can actually undo it. There's a little latch, little thing there. You can undo and pull it apart and and snap it to something else if you want to. We're not going to worry about that right now. So, we're going to untube it. It's a nice plastic cap, screws on. And there's your uh, tool kit. Nice cloth bag. I yes, love it. wonderful. Burlap. Like, yeah, burlap. And then you got your canvas. And then around it is your paperwork. And I think that's all that's in that tube. It's an empty tube. Nothing in there. Okay. Now, what you have here is a sticker with the image. Awakening at Dawn. It's a 20 by 28 inch round. And of course, it comes to start and finish, so you can put it in your little scrapbook. Yep. Um, you get a Welcome to the Craftably Family. Oh, I only got two of those. Showing what your new version 4.0 kit features. Telescoping art tubes, soft back canvas, poured glue, max luster, diamond drills, ABs and rhinestones, random cover minder, a basic glitter pen, a burlap accessory sack, thin multi-placer tips, extra thick chart cover, a tree planted for each order, pre-bagged drills up to 80 colors, true size images, licensed artwork, random washi tape, sharp tweezers, a jar of wax, Mosfa spouty tray, or Mosfa spout tray, sorry, I'm reading this upside down. Uh, peelable color labels, logbook sticker, and a foam gel pen, or a foam pen grip. So you get that, and somehow they just sent us two of those. And then on the back of that is also the instructions on how to diamond paint, which I'm sure by now we all know how to do. For those of you that are new to diamond painting, there are tons of videos by tons of creators on YouTube that tell you how to diamond paint. Here comes the cap. There is your your sticker sheet. They're big stickers, very big, very easy to read stickers uh, of each color. This one has 52 colors. Can I show them a comparison of the Diamond Art Club sticker? Yes. In fact, this has uh, two ABs, AB08 and AB05, and it also has an LZ601, so I'm thinking that's a special shape drill of some sort, probably a rhinestone. So there's the Diamond Art Club sticker. Compared to a Craftably sticker. They're Much. Like double. Yeah, they're huge. I'm not complaining, I can't see anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting that way. I need wear readers now. So, let's open up our little toolkit bag here. Got a nice little string enclosure there. She might knock the camera down. So hey. Let me move her. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, I, I know, know yes. Yeah. We have a new dog in the house, and the cats are finding ways to escape the dog. They don't like her. 
So, your tool kit comes in a little Ziploc bag. And inside the Ziploc bag, you have a Mosfa spout tray, a squishy, typical everyday little plastic diamond painting pen with a thin four placer on one end and a single placer on the other. And it also comes with a second four placer. I guess that's it. No, yeah, it's a second four placer. Okay, it comes with a second four placer, thin plastic, and a, I guess uh, that says on it seven. That's a seven placer. And you get some the sharp tweezers, pointy sharp. Don't forget your sheath over your tweezers. Yes, yes. Sharp. It's got a little protector. Keep it on there because you don't want to poke your eye out. It's all fun and games when somebody gets their eye poked out. Um, <laughs> and a little square of pink wax. So there's the tool kit. Would you like me to put it back together? If you would like to put it back together, you are more than welcome to put it back together. I figured it would all get separated into its various components and thrown in different containers like we do with all of our toolkits. <laughs> and wow. This one came with two little boats of wax or two little jars of wax with char branded with craftably. They each one come in their own little individual bag. And I got a little cover minder in it's a gun drop. an old thing. Yeah, it looks like a little, looks like a little uh, Japanese anime gumdrop. Can you see it? It's kind of cute. It's got little drills for eyes and cheeks. It's really cute. And two things of washi tape. I got a Christmas timey one there with Santa Santa Claus. Uh, you can't really see it. It won't focus because I got a really crappy webcam. Um, I need a better camera. It, yeah, there's Santa Claus there. And uh, we got a green with leaves. Yeah, just typical washi tape. And that's all that's in the little baggie. Now, what you've all been waiting to see, the canvas. I've already seen Amber's. I absolutely love these canvases. These things are awesome. These canvases are amazing. These are like, you think Diamond Art Club is soft? These are like a felt board. These things are so super soft. It's like they almost put a felt backing on them. Uh, it's got some tape. Yes, a piece of tape. You gotta find the edge of the piece of tape or we gotta take a pair of scissors and run it down in there and get that tape cut off, which lovely assistant here will do. <laughs> and I will peel it off. And we will unroll the canvas. It is poured glue, so no need to worry about these creases. They'll come out on their own. Um, it's sideways at the moment, so it actually kind of goes like that, but then you can't see the whole thing in the picture because the camera is not picking up the whole area. Um, but that, yeah, slide it up some. Oops, sorry Oop. guys, sorry guys. And you can also see the rest of my messy desk. <laughs> so there you go, that is the entire image. Well. Kind of, not really missing much up there at the top. Okay, maybe you are. So there is the image, very clear drill field, super, super clear drill field, uh, very nice symbols, you can read them easily, and I don't even have my readers on, so I can read them from here. Got a legend on the top and the side, a picture of the image, thumbnails down there. Nice glue. Very shiny, sticky glue. Is it very? Yes, very sticky, very shiny glue. So clear you can see that from space, isn't that what Miss yes. Coffee says? Yes. That's However. a that is an awesome canvas. 
And as I said, it is true to size. So it is a 28, 20. They don't do millimeters. They are centimeters. They do 20 by 28 inches. Hold on if I can find. I've got my little. I know you do. And I got one too. So. It should be true to size. In centimeters, right? Now we're going to do it in no inches. Inches? Yeah. Craftably measures theirs in inches. Printed area is 20, just a little over 20 actually, 20 and a quarter, or 20 and an eighth. And I'm going to turn it this way so I can okay. get the flat surface. Zero's there. And it goes dead on 28 just 28. about. Yep. Well, it's not flat, flat. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a little over 28, just yep. barely not. So it is true to size as labeled. The print area is 20 by 28. It's like 28 and a half. Yep. So it's really good. And then the drills are, I don't think we're going to take them all out. We're going to look at them. Why not? Okay, we'll take them all out. They are individually baggied drills. I like that. I worked in baggies recently. Yeah, Amber likes to work in the baggies. I still prefer the old fashioned way of sticking them down Harbor Freight containers. Because then you don't end up losing baggies. <laughs> I didn't lose that one on purpose, hush. <laughs> and it was one out of how many I've done? I know. I think the cat took the tape. So, instead of having uh, the DMC numbers on the baggies, even though the DMC numbers are on the sheet here and they're on the legend as well, uh, on the side on the key. I'll probably copy the legend before I stick on um, We've got a couple of loose drills here. Does it yeah. mean we have a baggie that's... No, um, more than likely it just got stuck in the zipper part. Yes. Yeah, there's three different colors. Yeah, three different colors. But the, num the bags are numbered by the number on the chart. So number one is 301, number 02 is 310, and they are numbered one, two, three, four, five, as in such and there are 52 colors so let's go through and find them all there's number one there's number two there's number three these are easy because they're in order look at that four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12, oh, that one's loose, it's dropped a drill out of it, uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, no, 22. There was three sitting right here, so it was fine. That's not that color. Okay. Sorry. 23, 24. Oh, we got two bags of 24. 25, 26, 27. Can you see all the way over there? Yes. 28, 29. There's number 30. Now we're starting to get a little mixed up over here. Thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, another thirty-three. 34. Oh, okay. There's thirty-four. Yeah, we get, they're getting kind of out of order now because we kind of move them around so much. Thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine. And What's here's up with thirty-eight. Is that a whacked up bag. Yeah, looks like the way the bag was made. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 40, 41, 43, and there's 42, and there's 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49 and now we're getting into the special shapes and ABs. It came with uh, number 50 as a white AB. White. White. 
white ABs. Can't really see it in the camera because my camera sucks. Just out of curiosity. Now try. Eh. Really kind of can see it, maybe. But yeah, they're white ABs. Gotta take my word for it. 51 are green ABs. Like a lime green AB. With the AB coating kind of shines in a bluish color. It's kind of pretty. You can see that in the camera. White just reflects so much white. Yeah. And the number 52 is LZ601, which is a magenta rhinestone. So that is craftably. That is. Do you want to see mine? Yes, they want to see yours. Awakening at Dawn by craftably. Very, very lovely picture. I kind of surprised him with that one. Yes. Well, I told him when I got it, and then he forgot because it was three months because this was a pre order. And then he's like, Oh, you got me one too? I'm like, Yeah, here it is. He goes, Oh, thank you. So, here, we will just. Yeah, you can just scoop it and. It doesn't have to be in order because we're going to be putting it in Harbor Freight anyways. Eventually. So you can just set it in your chair or in mine one. Eventually it's going to go in a Harbor Freight. Keep that. Keep that. All right. Now I turn it over to Amber. And if you don't like me, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. Who did not like you? We had a couple comments. It'd be really nice if the female voice would shut up. Remember? Y'all guess what? Salty. Guess oh, no, what? I'm not salty. It was just funny. She's a part of this channel too. So. It's not just me. It is Diamond Paint with Diamond Dave, but everybody knows Amber's here too. Maybe new people don't know. This is Amber, my girlfriend. She lives with me. We met through YouTube, so yeah. she does have her own channel, Painting in the Sky with Diamonds, but most of the stuff she does on YouTube is on my channel. So if you like Amber, come and say, say hi to her on our channel. We do our lives Sunday nights, 8 p.m. Central Time. Shameless plug. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> My sticker got stuck. That's what I get for playing with it. And the jingle you hear is Bella. You all will see Bella on our live on Sunday. is attacking her as we speak. Every time she walks by, he perches on top of tables and shelves and things. And every time she walks by under him, he swipes at her. He doesn't like her. All right. So mine is Bunny Loving Bethany by Sheena Pike. It's an 18 by 24 inch in rounds. Isn't she pretty? She is pretty. I love that color. That's my favorite color. That's what drew me to her. Rules, what you get. Dave already read that. <laughs> rules. We don't like rules around here. Stickers. There's 40 colors. Sticker label. Same toolkit. I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but I will show you. Everything that comes in it. No, ma'am. Not from this one. That was a different order. I got a Christmassy one. It's got bells and whatnot on it. Snowflakes, Christmas tree. And this squiggly Easter egg looking one. And a cover minder, which is like a galaxy heart, and I love it. So pretty. He's distracted by the dog. Two, pa two pots of wax and the same toolkit that he just went through. No Bella bite chewing pencil. The pencil chewer. Is she chewing on another pencil? She found a mechanical pencil down beside her crate. Okay. Yep. Sorry, Arya. <laughs> oh, she's beautiful. That is gorgeous. I love all the blue. Blue is my favorite color, by the way, y'all. Oh, really? She says pretty. That is pretty. She's so pretty. I would turn it this way, but I don't know if you could see all of it this way. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You can see it. She's got one, two, three little bunnies. 
Actually, that bunny is a cup. It's a coffee cup. Oh, is it? Yeah. It is. How cute. I see it now. So she's got two actual bunnies two bunnies. And a bunny coffee cup. And a little okay. bunny on her purse. Oh, yeah. So cute. But, um, the, the canvas is the same like Dave described. It's, um, it's fuzzy. Oh, Bella likes her new bed. It's a, a felt. It's, Dunnar Club is soft, but this kind of feels softer. Symbols nice and clear. Nice and sticky. And like I said, there's 40 colors. So let's look at them. Look at the 40 colors. Yours is uh, longer than mine. Yes. I'm not going to measure because we already know it's true to size. Yours is 18 by 24 inches. I said that. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mine's four inches wider each direction. Well, mine's two inches wider and four inches longer. I'm not even going to bother putting them in color order. I'll just name them off. You have one AB and one special. There's my AB and there's my special. I might put them in somewhat of an order. But I love the one. special ones on this one are blue. Two, one, eleven, twelve, six, five, four, three. I lied. I'm putting them in somewhat of an order, but not really. I'm just going as I get them. <sighs> Twenty-five. Twenty-four, twenty-three, twenty-two, my favorite color. Twenty-one, twenty, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, thirteen, seven, fourteen, eight. Let's see, 14, 26, <clears throat> 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 33, 38, and 37, 36, 37. hold on, 27, 28, That goes there. <laughs> that goes there. That goes there. That goes there. We got really room for nine and ten up there. Thirty-five, thirty-four, nine and ten, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, and forty. Yes, they're all there. All of the colors are there. This one's my favorite color. That one is like a nine. Uh, what number is it? Nine nine five. Nine nine five. Yes, love nine nine five. Lots of blue in this one. I love all the blue. Can't wait to see that one done too. Can't wait to see yeah. both of these done. But I got so many diamond paintings I got in the closet. They're like I can't wait to see that one done. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's that. I think we buy them just because we can't wait to see them done, but then we just never get them done. We are serial starters around here. Especially me. But I haven't started a new one in a while. I mean, it's, Diana was last when yeah, I started. Yeah, Pam is the only one that actually finishes the one she starts. She only does one at a time, and she finishes, and then she goes, and she's good. The rest of us are just like, oh my god, i got to start this one right away, and then we put it away and work on something else, and then we start a new one. We have like 10 and 15 in the closet that are partially done. Try 20. 20? Oh. Excuse me. 
I think we're going to finish Mama Knows before we start another one, though. I think and the Hank should. Custom. We've got to get the Hank Custom done. I am dying to get that one done. I really am. I'm not putting another drill on that one. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. It's fine. They already know by now. Um, but that's craftably. They're going to know Mama already. His channel's already adult. Yeah. Those are our first craftablys we've ever ordered, and we are very impressed with them. We are super impressed with craftably. I will love And I love the tubes. I just, that that's a hook line sinker. And that's a beautiful thing. Yeah. That's a game changer. It really is. If you order enough craftables, you get enough of these tubes that... I think you might be able to put two finished in it. Because the drills aren't going to be in it. I don't know, but I, I have a trip coming up and I plan on taking a painting with me. This tube's going to come in handy. Yes. Because it is expandable. As you know, as Amber said, they are expandable. To the uh, you know, While you're doing that, you can... Uh, how do you unlatch the thing or you, you just gotta, have to... you got to loosen the strap. Oh, yeah, loosen the strap. Okay. Yeah. So you loosen the strap like this. Well, that tighten the strap. Well, that tighten the strap. That loosens the strap. Okay, I see. All right. So the strap loosens and tightens like that. And the tube is in two parts. And as you see, it's got little perforations all the way down the side of it like that and it's got the little things that you lock in place and it locks the tube so that you can't move it and so you can expand that tube out I'm pretty sure it'll go even farther than what I just did uh, I like the fact that you can open it both ways you see it comes apart it's got all the way down there so you can the maximum you can expand this out to is Here's my um, hmm. hold on y'all I'm getting there don't take them apart. Just saying. Right there. That's the longest it'll expand out to. Here. We can't even get it all in camera. Here, I'll let you um, do three measurement. Inches. Do inches. Okay. Um, lengthwise, oh. you get 35 inches, which equates to, as far as centimeters go, 79. Uh, yeah, 89. Oh, 89, my bad. We got twisted. I know, because I was, look, I had my finger on this 35 inch mark and I twisted it. Oh, okay. That's what I was going by. So you get your 88 and a half. Yep, so it will expand out to 88 and a half centimeters, so it'll hold your big diamond paintings. So how many feet? And then, like I said, you can tighten this back down to get your strap back down where it goes, like such. And there you go. And that's got it. And then she'll slide a, I'll slide my canvas back down in there, roll it up, slide it in, and carry it with us. Too. Yep. So there you have it. That is Craftably. We are very impressed with Craftably and their product. Texas owned. Yes, it's American. Buy American. And, uh, what? No, we know we'll already give them a review after. Oh, yeah. But um, it's Diamond Art Club worthy yeah. stuff, if I'm being honest. It's definitely a good competitor to Diamond Art Club, and it falls into the same category as DAC, TSA, Craftably. 
all three fall under about the same category. They're all definitely def in my top high end. end. Yes. Definitely in my top well five. That are definitely high end. Not a. It's not your cheap China paintings for sure. And uh, a lot of care was taken into packaging. And the price. Oh, look at this. Look at the pretty cool note. The handwritten note too. Like he took time yes. out of his day. Yes. Yes, they reasonably wrote. Reasonably priced. Thank you for supporting Craftably with your purchase. We appreciate your business and look forward to serving you again. And have fun, Craftably. Yours, Larry, aka Craft Wizard. And you know what? It was eighty dollars for the two of them, so it wasn't like completely break my bank. Yep. You pay that for one at an art club for the most part. Yeah. Not so. a bad thing. No, no, I'm not judging or saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying you get more entertainment for your buck. We ordered it. It was a pre-order. We ordered it 15th of March 2021, and it arrived on June 22nd. So it is a pre-order. That's why we waited so long. So there's no... No hate. There's no beef on the on how long it took to get here because as soon as they had it ready, they shipped it out. And so, yeah. So, yeah, that's it. That's Craftably. So, I hope you all go check them out. We'll put a link down below, but I'm sure everybody knows now what Craftably is and how to get there because we're not the first ones to unbox one. <laughs> Use Nana's link. Yes, use Nana's link. I'll probably, we'll probably put Nana's link in our description. Yeah, yeah, we'll help her out. So, uh, till next time, y'all. Rock on, y'all. Or Billy's. Bye, guys. Toodles.